Kenan Phillips and I'm with the Mod Mo with ModMobilian.com and we're visiting today with Susan Carley, the owner of Cream and Sugar, which is located in the Oak Lake in the Garden District. So Susan, uh, thanks for talking to us today. Thank you for being um, here. I wanted to start by talking about what's your, what was your first memory of you know wanting to cook and cooking and then getting into the food business. Um, actually, my first memory. My father told me, so that's before I could even remember, but he said I was making coffee for him at age four. Which sounds a little dangerous to me, but we had the little percolator, mm -hmm. and I would boil the water and actually pour it into the little percolator myself. So um, that was kind of my first leaning towards um, cooking and restaurants. And then for my mother's um, Mother's Day gift, when I was six, I did a little um, menu that said Susan's Cafe, and you open it up and you could pick eggs, toast, um, meat, drinks, oh, that's great. and she ordered and I went and made it for her and brought it back to her. That was age six. We actually have that framed here. Oh, that's great. So, yeah, with misspelled words and everything. So, so then you, you have this, you have uh, had a restaurant in the Mobile Museum of Art, and then four years ago you opened up Cream and Sugar. Um, Talk about, you know, how, and it's obvious through what you've shown us about your cooking and, and your early experiences, but why this type of restaurant and then what has this restaurant done for the area and where your draw is? Uh, well, my husband and I bought the building um, almost five years ago, and it was a restaurant prior to us owning it, but we took it and divided it into two different restaurants. It kind of has a natural division because the original owners lived in this house and they had a little store on the corner and at some point they combined them together so now it looks like one building but with doors on separate streets. So we made it two restaurants and we lease out the other side to Virginia College and they have Kitchen on George and we just thought, well, what do we do with this other business, with this other building? And because it's down in a midtown neighborhood, um, historic district, we just really felt like a coffee shop would be perfect for that area. And it has proven to, to be so. Um, neighbors walk, ride their bikes, um, they meet here, they have uh, neighborhood meetings, church meetings, bunco groups. Um, it's just really cute. It's a neighborhood hangout. And, we serve breakfast and lunch seven days a week. Um, it's like been seven to seven, seven days a week. And um, it's just kind of become a staple in the Midtown neighborhood. We have groups like um, Mobilians and Bikes who meet here several times a week. They'll have breakfast and then they take off on their rides. Um, and then just other neighborhood type groups in Midtown. Groups. And you've had some community activities. You've had, I believe, an art fair here at one time. And uh, recently and then some other activities that have so so you've cemented in this area where kind of a, do you see as a having a local business your challenges to expand and, and how you've expanded really nationwide with some of your products exactly yeah um, being deep down in this neighborhood has been a blessing and a curse in some ways it's a blessing because we fit in so well and, and people want to be here and be a part of it. But at the same time, it blends in almost too well. Like another house, um, one of the old uh, historic homes. And so the people driving by Government Street, Dolphin Street, or downtown, don't see us. And it's a constant struggle for us to keep our name out there and remind people of where we are. Of course, the Midtown, downtown area knows us very well. But we realized we had to gain revenue outside of these walls, and that's why we went to the internet. So we now have a store, an online store, um, creamandsugarmobile.com, where we're actually, thank you, Jerry. You're very welcome, Susan. Uh, um, and, um, we're receiving a bountiful breakfast as we talk here about. Beautiful, beautiful thanks. Mm -hmm. um, so as I was saying, we opened up the online store, just creamandsugarmobile.com, and we now sell our very popular cake balls 
um, nationwide. So we're advertising regionally. It's actually available nationwide. And um, we have different series that you can get. We have the Taste of Mobile series. Um, we have uh, Southern Classic series, like Ambrosia, Pecan Pie, um, Lemon Curd. All of our little cake bites, which I'll show you in a minute, are now available in specialty boxes that are shipped just like a gift for someone or a thought from Mobile. Um, so that's kind of how we started getting outside of our walls. So let's talk a little bit about what we're going to try here. Okay. Our great breakfast. Yes. All of this, you know, you can eat and, and, and come have something healthy and then again some of these more decadent items. Absolutely. I strongly believe we have the best coffee in town, although I have friends that own coffee shops all over Mobile. I'm sure they feel the same. We're very happy and uh, laying out to us this year as the best coffee house in Mobile. So we're real proud of the coffee. We buy um, locally roasted beans, uh, the Carpe Diem beans, and then we um, we brew them here. And so so we're what happy. are we looking at right here? Okay, this is a um, mocha cappuccino, uh, my personal favorite. Uh, but our baristas are excellent. Come on by, you can, she can come on by to the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, this is delicious. I'm usually a regular um, latte person here, but that's a big treat. That would get me going, not just with the sugar, but the caffeine. Oh yeah, we have excellent baristas, and they're trained well um, as they come on. So we're, we're real proud of our baristas and our coffee. Um, this is one of our most popular breakfast dishes, traditional cinnamon roll, but we make them daily. Um, they're outstanding, and then this is our probably our most popular dish. It's a Kaneka Sausage Breakfast Burrito. This is a classic Southern. You can't go wrong with Alabama made Kaneka Sausage, cheese, salsa. Tell me cheese. about how great are these uh, um, special kind of grits or are you using your typical Southern grits? Well, they're, they're southern grits. Um, we don't use quick grits here, but it's uh, the garlic cheese grits. Mm -hmm. We make them. And you know what? We serve our gumbo on top of our cheese grits, mm -hmm. which is an amazing combination. Well, you always have um, great soups every day. And uh, your chicken salad is very uh, unique. It has some ingredients that I haven't seen elsewhere. Yeah, I agree. The um, chicken salad actually has tarragon in it, which is unique, and um, white vinegar, and then, but it's a chunky chicken salad yeah. with grapes and nuts in it, so, very different. Um, so, all of these, you know, people can come, it, 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 it is a very affordable place to go, you know, you're competitive locally, and uh, are these, these are some of your more famous and, and best items that you serve at breakfast. They are, we have an extensive breakfast list, it's what you would expect in a coffee shop, but surprisingly better than uh, most coffee shops um, and then a little spin on it as well um, and our lunch uh, menu as well is pretty extensive as far as coffee shops go but you'll see we have um, a couple of quiches and several um, sandwiches um, I'm going to show you our um, ham and blue cheese croissant so this is um, one of our specialty items but it is ham and blue cheese with an orange marmalade spread. So it's like a country ham. Um, and then we make a blue cheese and orange marmalade spread and toast it. And it's really yummy. It's good for breakfast or lunch. And it's been one of our and more... This along with uh, your gumbo, which is just is, is unique and has something that most people don't do with their gumbo. Yeah, we serve our seafood gumbo on top of cheese grits rather than rice. And it gives it a totally different texture and feel to it, almost like a griots and grits, but with seafood. And people love it. They love it. It's the best gumbo they have. So, so in addition to getting coffee drinks here, you have coffee here, coffee for sale that people can buy. Now, will that be something that in the future you may sell nationwide or regionwide? Absolutely. Um, the internet has opened up everything. We can sell any of our products as long as they um, can get there within two days um, on ice packs. And so we're selling the cake balls there. Cake balls are, are unique. It's, it's very different from making a cake. Isn't that yes. correct? 
Yes, it's almost like taking a slice of cake, icing and everything, and rolling it into a bowl and then dipping it in chocolate. Because inside it has the icing, the cake, and then the chocolate on the outside. So this, I call it kind of like a, um, thank you, Jerry. You're very welcome. It's kind of like a grown-up cupcake. It's the right size. You finish it in two bites, but it's a little more sophisticated flavor than a cupcake and more affordable. <laughs> right, and they're, the cupcakes can sometimes be a little dry, on the drier end, and these are a very uh, dense, rich taste. I mean, I find them perfect. I might have done large sweet tooth, but they're just the perfect amount for me to just have a few bites of. I agree. Grown-ups love them, kids love them, all ages love them. All of our cake balls can be done in these little boxes. We've actually sold these for wedding favors or party favors. Yeah. You can get the birthday cake ball with a little candle in it and give it us a gift. So these little individual boxes have been um, really popular. It's have the six count and the 12 count. And they're all available on the internet or in the store. Well, thanks for meeting with us today. I encourage everyone in our community and, and visitors, everybody, to come visit Cream and Sugar. There, there's so many things to eat, I wouldn't even know where to start. I think we've covered it all. But down in the Oakley Garden District, and uh, we appreciate everyone watching us today.